Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Today I'll continue the story Andre uh, started last time. So if you haven't seen it, go check the description, I'll put a link there or check it here. Short recap. We started making music and Andre told you uh, about the process of composing uh, our latest release I'm a Criminal. So what remains is for me to talk about how the video came to life. So in a few words, in my own perspective, a uh, music video should be the visual representation of the lyrics and music you listen to. The video should emphasize the main idea of the song using different techniques that express emotions with the purpose of creating a complete audiovisual experience for the audience. Yes, this is my definition. Sorry for the technical introduction, but I wanted to make sure that uh, I give the impression that I know what I'm talking about. Enough talking, let's turn back in time and see how it really went. First of all, we had to make the script. The video team gathered and discussed complicated scenarios, different location options, gear, props, actors, and most importantly, the allocated budget. Oh, and by the way, the video team consists of only two people, me and Alex. Yes, I know, sad. We knew from the lyrics that there's going to be a criminal. And because Romina's alias is Rokmina, and also our band name is the Voodoo Child, I just connected the dots and I made Rokmina the criminal who uses a voodoo doll for malicious uses and Romina just a casual girl. But there's a catch. They are the same person and Romina is aware of her evil self and even cooperates with it. In conclusion, Romina is crazy and we know it. Just joking, she's a great person. She even made the voodoo doll that we used in the video. So you can see that our tremendous budget didn't even pay for our props, so we had to make them ourselves. Besides the doll that Romina made, the knife was Andre's kitchen knife and the fake bug was accidentally found at my place. That was very fortunate because we were just about to use ketchup or paint or whatever since we had been searching the whole city for that f***ing blood because the shops were closed that day. The budget wasn't enough to afford working with real actors too, so we had to get the job done with Alex, my hand for one little scene, and a friend of Romina's. To sum up, we spent just about zero dollars. If you already watched the video, you saw that the main two components that make the video are the performance of the band combined with the storyline. Because the song is very fast, we decided to make quick cuts, so the video will be more dynamic and moreover to suggest the idea of a chase. Also to amplify the difference between these two versions of Romina, we had the idea of a shot where both of them appear at the same time. Romina singing from inside the mirror, where the color tones were much darker, to Romina. So basically throughout the whole video we tried to build the contrast between Rockmina and Romina and create a storyline linked to the lyrics. In terms of scheduling the shooting day, that wasn't too hard. The difficult part and also the most fun was to actually film something. We were lucky because it was a rainy day, so the perfect atmosphere was created for that kind of scenario. All in all, it was a fun experience, we learned a lot, we worked hard, but most importantly, we realized that the teamwork makes the dream work. And the best part is that we'll do it again and again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> because we work <laughs> because we work on new originals every single day of the year. So stay tuned. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that you should check our latest release, I'm a criminal, the video will be in the description below, or here. Bye! And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And become a patron. Goodbye.